But if I don't keep practicing, I won't get into the school choir. And everybody knows that's the best place to meet girls. That's just a geeky urban legend. You'll never meet girls in the choir. By the way, are you soprano, falsetto, or screechy catto? <laughs> Very funny. You guys always pick on me just because I'm the youngest. Can we argue about this later? Right now, it's time to have some fun. You're right. A bumper car battle always makes things better. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Hey, what's the problem? Huh? <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see Swamp Glass 3 in 3D. Yeah, the 3D glasses will make it feel like Cody Corey is right in front of me. <laughs> I heard that technically speaking, the movie is far superior to the video game. And check it out. Everyone who buys a ticket gets a free poster. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. One ticket, please. Ah! Well, if you're too young to get in, then none of us is going in. Really? No, not really. <laughs> Are you crazy? I wouldn't miss this for the world. Yo, Tone, just hang out in the lobby and wait for us. We'll give you all the details when it's over. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give that movie a 36. You're gonna love this movie when you're old enough to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair that I can't do the same stuff as you guys. Hey, Tony, that's just the way it is until it isn't like that anymore. Look at the bright side. You can still use the super fun kiddie pool at the park. Yeah, and you also get to read books that have lots and lots of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. I'm an international spy, but I can't even do regular kid stuff. <laughs> Hey, do you guys notice anything strange about these posters? I guess they really want us to see the movie again! Welcome, spies. You're just in time for my matinee presentation. Great! You guys get to see Swamp Blast 3 and I get one of Jerry's surveillance tapes. Recently, there have been a number of acts of sabotage. This is the city library. Who would want to do that to a library? Someone who really hates to do homework? Hmm. Don't look at me. I have an alibi. I need you to find out why this building was dissolved. And here are the gadgets to help you do so. Huh? No way! I'm totally too old to play with balloons. When this inflator windstormer is inflated, it emits a blast of air with mere hurricane force. Ah! <gasps> Sorry, Jerry. Pencils are for little kids. I use pens. But this whoop laser pencil sharpener shoots out precision lasers when the handle is cranked. Ah. Ooh. Uh, oh, come on. I'm old enough to know when to come in from the rain. The whoop ultra umbrella is strong enough to deflect any substance. But be careful. If it gets wet, it becomes as heavy as concrete. <gasps> A museum is under attack. Spies are needed immediately. Am I too young for this mission? But it's silly. You go on dangerous missions all the time. I just need you and Mark to look for clues at the site of the dissolved library. And because I don't think you're too young, you can take along the latest in Whoop travel technology. 
The Whoop Trauma Tricycle is the fastest vehicle on the road. Or at least the sidewalk. Get it. Why would anyone get rid of a library just to build a playground? Seriously, playgrounds are for kids. Come on, this mission is lame. Let's go hook up with Lee and Megan. We can't. Jerry told us to look for clues here, like this footprint. It looks fresh and kind of small. Who cares about footprints? We need to go where the action is. <sighs> Thank goodness this Whoop Ultra Umbrella works. Otherwise, we'd be museum relics. I have two questions. Who is this guy and why is he doing this? <gasps> Did Jerry send you guys here? No, it was Tony's idea. Man, Jerry's gonna give you a super timeout when we get back. Whatever. I may be the smallest Clark, but I'm not afraid of anything. Tony! <laughs> Get back under the umbrella! Not until I show you what I can do! Bullseye! Step off, loser! Whoa! Yo, small fry, you okay? No sweat. Didn't hurt at all. Looks like we got ourselves a clue. We'll analyze this later. Right now, we're late for dinner. So, how was the movie today? Only the all-time greatest film of all time. I didn't get to see it. Huh? Hmm? Tony, you've got dirt all over your... Oh. Hey, this isn't dirt on your lip. Ew, it's a mustache! Wow, really? Wait until the girls at school see it. <laughs> Looks like our little Tony is starting to grow up. I suppose I am. Well, now that you're getting bigger, you can help me bring in those heavy boxes from the garage. I've got a whole list of fun things we can do together now that you're becoming a man. That's great, Dad. <clears throat> Just great. If I have to lift another one of Dad's boxes, I'm gonna scream! We've all been there. It's not so easy being older, is it? Heck yeah! So, what did you guys find out about that shirt? I've spent the last hour running an intensive scan over every inch of this fabric, and still nothing! Did you get around to scanning the name tag, genius? Archibald Cranton. Hmm. Since when does a grown man have his name sewn into his shirt? What's up, Jer? Something utterly strange just happened. What's this whoop surveillance footage from the museum? Oh, that guy works fast. But why is he doing what he's doing? Weird. According to the whoop database, the only Archibald Cranton in the country is an eight-year-old kid. But the guy who attacked us was a lot older than that. Yeah, there's no way a little kid could manage to destroy such a huge building. Just because... Just because someone is young doesn't mean they can't do big things. Guys, I need you to investigate the Cranton house. I've run a further check on this Archibald boy. His father, William Cranton, develops weapons for the military. That might explain the laser blaster he had. It's also a good reason for you to be very careful on this mission. You got it, Jer. Uh... Megan and I will check the inside of the house. You two keep an eye on the outside. Hello? I'm not a little kid anymore. I should lead the search inside the house. You know, if you really wanted to wake them, you could have just rung the doorbell. Sorry, I guess I'm not used to my new non-kid body. That's all the more reason for you to stay out here. Come on, Megan. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think will look better, a mustache or a goatee? Why not go for a full beard? I hear the werewolf look is in this year. <gasps> they found something. Doesn't look like our attacker. If he's not our attacker, what's he doing with these blueprints? Whatever he's planning to build, it's way bigger than the other ones. <gasps> hey, what's going on? Listen, Archibald, we need to talk. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a growth spurt. Where'd he go? Whoa! Crazy kids, watch where you're going! Sorry, but did you see an eight-year-old boy running around here? What would a little kid be doing out at this hour? Come to think of it, shouldn't you be at home? Was it my imagination, or did that guy look familiar? He looked like a grown-up Archibald. I was thinking he looked like the guy at the museum. Hmm? <gasps> but mostly he looks like he's gone now. I don't fit in my clothes anymore, so I dug out some of Dad's old clothes. Pretty sharp, eh? How come he's getting so tall? According to the diagnostic scanner on my MP comm, the beam that hit Tony in the museum is speeding up his aging process. Then Archibald could have used the same beam on himself last night. Yeah, it's time for school. We can't let Mom and Dad see Tony like this. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Tony? I'm almost ready. Do you have a cold, Tony? Your voice sounds a bit husky. <laughs> now just try to keep warm and have soup with your lunch. <sighs> All right, time for the kids at school to meet the new Tony. Yeah. This is the best day ever! I'm not a kid anymore! I'm gonna get invited to all the parties now! Don't hold your breath. Hey, it's the guys from the choir! Hey there, fellow crooners! I've been practicing like crazy all week! So, am I in? <gasps> it's me, Tony! <gasps> it's like they don't recognize me! No wonder! You look more like a teacher than a student! Oh, thank goodness you came. We've been waiting for a substitute teacher all morning. These papers need to be graded ASAP. Now get in there and start teaching. <laughs> Whoa, kids today are crazy. Attention all teachers. There will be a meeting in the staff lounge after school today. Attendance is mandatory. Man, being grown up is tougher than it looks. This is out of control. We have to get Tony away from school. Jerry, we need a whooping. Hmm. Hello? Jerry, we've got a situation. We're stuck in the tunnel. I just knew the Plungeomatic 3000 would come in handy one day. Tony, you've grown. No wonder you couldn't fit through the tunnel. Archibald blasted him with a beam that's making him get older. Yeah, isn't it cool? Not really. At the rate you're aging, you'll be as old as Jerry in a few days. Uh, I don't want to be that old. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll get our best people working on an antidote. If only we knew where Archibald is planning to strike next. There's something here. Looks like his next target is going to be his school. Sounds like he beat us here. Tony, Mark, you guys get everybody out of the school. Megan and I will try to find Archibald. I tapped into the school's PA system. Tony, why don't you test it out with a song? 
Okay, I could use the practice. Everybody, let's sing tonight! Everybody's gonna be alright! They all left the school, just like I planned. Good work, Tone. Thanks, I think. You know, I can't figure out why this guy is dissolving buildings and turning them into playgrounds. Isn't it obvious? I'm tired of being a kid in an adult world. Do your homework, Archibald. Study harder, Archibald. Put your toys away, Archibald. Yeah, I know what you mean. You're too small to ride this. You're too young to watch this movie. <coughs> but... but what you're doing is wrong. You need to stop. No way. I'm not quitting until all the boring places are gone. No more schools, libraries, or museums. From now on, there'll be only playgrounds and amusement parks. But some kids like museums and libraries. You sound just like my dad. You just don't get it. Yeah, seriously, Mark. Only nerds like museums and libraries. But you can't go around ruining these places just because you don't like them. That's pretty immature, Archibald. Who are you calling immature? I stole a bunch of stuff from my dad's lab, but this aging beam is my fate. It comes in handy when you need that extra burst of speed. Yeah. Lee, Megan, he's heading east. And be careful, he's all grown up. You may look grown up, Archibald, but you still need a babysitter. Once I drop this seismotronic Super Bowl, this school is as good as dissolved. <laughs> Lee, get under the Wolf Hunter umbrella! Dude, what is your problem? Hey, what can I say? I'm still a kid. I like breaking things. Cool! A seismic Super Bowl! In a devious, destructive way, of course. All right, we need a plan. I'm the biggest one here. Just leave it to me. You can't hurt me, especially after I reverse the settings on my aging beam. Totally not fair. You're just a kid. There's no way you can stop me. Just a kid? That punk is eight years old. He can't talk to me like that. Chill, Tony. I have an idea. The water slide will go right here. And once the science lab is demolished, I'll use my dad's instant building device to create the coolest skate park in the world. Yeah. We need to get rid of that ball. Time for the laser pencil sharpener. Yeah. Now let's bring out the inflato windstormer. Now you've made me mad. I'm going to increase the power and turn you all into babies. There is no way I'm going to help Mom change Tony's diapers. Let me handle this. You're going down, Archibald. No! Nice throw, Pip Squeak. You just gave me the perfect defensive weapon. Now there's no way you can stop me. I hate to rain on your parade, but... Huh? Whoa! <laughs> no! Let me out of here! You're ruining everything! <laughs> way to go, Tony! Getting that ultra umbrella wet made it super heavy. You're a great spy no matter what your size. You know, between shaving, having to work, and watching boring movies, being an adult isn't any fun at all. Good work, spies. Looks like you stopped Archibald just in time. And as for you, a boy your age shouldn't play with gadgets. From now on, you'll be under the strict supervision of the Whoop Daycare. <laughs> Thanks to Mr. Cranton's instant building device, all the places Archibald dissolved have been returned to normal. The most important thing is that Tony's back to normal. Hey, what's wrong, Shorty? Lost all your crayons? I didn't make the choir. They needed a kid with a higher voice, and even though my voice is back to normal, they've already chosen someone else. Oh, uh, look at the bright side. The choir's only for geeks. I sing a sad song. My voice got higher, but it's too late for me. I can't join the choir. Okay, this is amazing. We just started a singing club, and we, like, are desperate for a male singer. Really? 
You'll be the only guy in the Hummingbird Singing Club. The only guy? <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's get singing! Uh, only for geeks, Ailey. Me, 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 me. 